I started cooking in high school, but that was not a professional kitchen. In between the time I went to school and the professional kitchen and school, so it's hard to say like when I started. In professional kitchen, I've been uh, almost eight, nine years. Also, I got a lot of inspiration from my mom and then she's always good at cook and she always prepares at least five different kimchi each season. I joined the team before opening during construction. So it's been nearly almost three years now. I'm still learning and I'm still trying to find what I can do. For now, I'm more focusing on the uh, seasonal ingredients with the, uh, some preservation and then fermentation techniques into it together. I've been working in the kitchen for a little bit more than 10 years. Uh, I've been working here almost two and a half years since maybe July 2019. Things, I got a lot of inspiration from my maternal grandmother. So my maternal grandmother food taste was really so good. So I used to go to my grandparents' house every weekend for having my grandmother's food. Uh, I'm usually focusing on the season ingredient. I usually get the inspiration when I see the very nice ingredient. So I'm just thinking about the, how can I use this ingredient and so also how can I make the new dish with this ingredient. from the pandemic. First, we lost a lot of staff who has a lot of talent. Atomix was the uh, temporarily closed. We didn't have an outdoor hotel space. So I moved to Arboy. We started, uh, we started delivery food with uh, kitchen managers at Arboy. Every moment we have a hard time and especially uh, it impacted a lot for financial management with that to pay rent, to minimize the uh, food costs, labor costs, but we still want to serve nice food to the guests. We have to think about the, what is the best way to protect our restaurant and our steps. All the manager from Automix and Autoboy started to work together in the Autoboy for the delivery menu. But actually it was pretty hard to survive in the, something like a delivery world. So because every restaurant started the delivery at the time. So we did delivery for the long distance on our own, somewhere like Brooklyn and Upper East Side or Tribeca. Every single moment, the decision we need to make was kind of tough. We started outdoor in July. It was a summer, so the weather really doesn't, didn't interrupt anybody. But now it's cold season winter. We need to rebuild our uh, outdoor sitting with a heated lamp inside. And then we started uh, indoor with a 25% capacity. And that was only for like a two to three months. And then we faced another second lockdown for the restaurant. And I am now at Ato Boy again, doing Ato Square collaboration with the Chef Tesson. So Ato Square is the uh, collaboration between Ato Mix and Ato Boy. We are doing only six course tasting menu but it's a totally different concept as what Ato Boy was and Ato Mix was before. So it's a com combination uh, between me and Chef Tesson. We didn't have enough time to prepare this collaboration because we are doing the special delivery at the end of the year. So we just only had less than one week for, for prepare this. First, I think it had to be somewhere in between Atomix and Atoboy. So Atoboy previous menu style was a three course prefix menu. Guess I had a lot of different options from each category. 
whether Atomix was a 10 course tasting menu only. So Atomix was more for, uh, fine dining style and Auto Boy is more casual style. But since we are serving six course menu, it can be too casual or too formal. So guests have to enjoy their meal casually, but higher quality of food. And also we need to actually, to be honest, thinking about the sales as well, how we need to survive this hard time. It's like a new restaurant, how to make a new restaurant, how to launch a new brand. I didn't have any information about that, but from the auto scare, I learned a lot about that. First, we make the dishes and then we taste it and then we discuss about it. When we both agree, we add just the recipe and the style of the food. One of guests, the favorite dish now is the burnt cod. And then some of the item is the, uh, is the sujebi, called the sujebi, which is like a flour dough, like a blanched in the water. But we make like kind of Italian style gnocchi together. So instead of using potato, we use a sunchuk and then a little bit of the uh, flour together. That's from uh, Chef Tesson's idea because he has worked in the Italian restaurant for a long time. We have to manage every single thing, such as the uh, menu design, the font of the menu, how we're gonna organize the service style for a kitchen and the front of house. So that kind of thing, I've really never done it before. I wouldn't say is having a hard time, but I learned a lot and now I'm enjoying it. I just want to say it's pretty hard season, how they appear to survive, but I think I always say I can do anything. So, yeah, you know, so we can do anything. You know, so I think we're gonna overcome this period, yeah. So I wanna get the three Michelin star for my future in 10 years. I know it reaches them really, really hard. And if I'm doing better and better, I mean, I think I have more uh, chance to uh, take care of my uh, friends and family and also my future guests as well. So while I'm cooking with others, I hope we all are happy. <laughs>